I want to give you my Bulletproof Coffee hack. Now, Bulletproof Coffee is used when you're on keto and doing intermittent fasting. Normally, people take it in the morning to allow them to go a longer period of time without eating because it has fat in it. It's composed of coffee, grass-fed butter, and MCT oil blended up. It tastes pretty good, and this is especially good to do when you start a keto program because it allows you to go a longer period of time without eating, and because it has MCT oil in it, it'll give you more ketones to make this transition a little faster. Because sometimes when you're starting keto, it might take three to five days for your body to start making more and more ketones, but if you're taking ketones, your brain will get them right away, and you have less of a transition phase, as in less keto fatigue or less brain fog. But the way that I do Bulletproof coffee is slightly different. I do the coffee, MCT oil. I do add one packet of xylitol, okay? And yes, it's not zero on the glycemic index, it's 30. So it does influence the blood sugars a little bit, but because I'm having such a small amount, it's really insignificant. But here's the hack. I add chocolate to this coffee mixture, but not the chocolate that has the sugar. It is the unsweetened 100% cacao type chocolate. Now, here's the thing. Because it's super concentrated, I only add a little square of this in the coffee, chop it up, it melts right in there because cacao enhances the cognitive function. It has cardiovascular protection. It helps your blood sugars. It's anti-inflammatory and it can increase your mood. It also has something called theobromine, which is similar to caffeine. Cacao also has a very small amount of caffeine, like 0.1 to 0.7%, which if we compare it to coffee, coffee has like 1.2%, but this is like 0.1 to 0.7%. Now, what is the difference between cacao and cocoa? Let's talk about that. Okay, cacao is less processed. It has more phytonutrients. It has more magnesium, more iron, and this additional natural chemical called phenylethylamine, which can improve focus and attention, anti-inflammatory properties, and polyphenols, which is a phytonutrient which can give you additional health benefits. So cacao is less processed, and cocoa is heated, okay? So it's more processed. If we take a look at the fat in cacao, it's 11 grams, okay? Cocoa powder, it's 3.5 grams. Protein, one gram. Cocoa is 2.5 grams. Carbs, six grams, okay? Cocoa powder is 16 grams. Now, I'm talking about one ounce. So if we take a look at this bar right here, it's 2.3 ounces. So it would be basically, we're talking about a small section of this. That's why they're comparing this. So if we're talking about the amount of cacao that I use, which is like one section, it might be one and a half to maybe two grams of carbs. So it's very, very small. And of course, we can't forget about the fiber, three grams versus nine grams right here. And I do recommend using 100% cacao. However, you can use other types of non-sugar chocolate as well, like Lily's brand. This one is 40% cacao, and it's sweetened with erythritol and stevia. So for me, I like the additional cognitive and nutritional benefits, but realize if you do too much, uh, it could affect your sleep at night because of this stimulant and this stimulant right here. When you're adding MCT oil or grass-fed butter, it's great to do in the beginning when you're doing keto. But if you're trying to lose weight, your body could be using these ketones more than your own ketones that are generated from your own fat burning. So in my case, I wanna get the ketones from the dietary fat more than I do from my own fat. All right, so go ahead and try this out and tell me if you like it. Good morning. Good morning. Can you bring me a cup of coffee? Do you want your MCT oil and chocolate? Mm -hmm. Do you want the MCT oil and chocolate? 